Hey, what's good, y'all? So look, I've been seeing people ask these questions like, boom. And then boom. And then boom. And I'm like, look, I got you. For sure, 100%, I got you. I'm about to show y'all all the settings that I use so that I can do the little things that I do in this game. They just get these reactions. <laughs> show you guys what my mods are like. These kids are not trying to win. This kid's modding right here. This kid's a modding piece of shit. What he is. Look. See, look, 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 look. You see when his sniper rifle glitches like that? He's cheating. Report this kid. Report him. <laughs> Report this motherfucker. Cheating fucking piece of garbage, bro. <laughs> fucking cheating piece of Switch shit. Sides. <laughs> bro, oh my god, bro. You guys are a bunch of fucking pussies, dude. This guy thinks he's a fucking face. Yeah. Fucking slipping his dick off. Like, you guys are dog fucking shit, dude. Capping ass fucking pussy. Look at this guy. Bro. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, Cronus in baby fry, dude. Fry. Dog shit though. Tears, tears, tears. Look at that, Cronus. Unplug your fucking Cronus, you dog shit ass controller. Tears, tears, tears. Yo, yeah, look at that shit, aimbot bro. Okay, Tap. I see you, I see you. But anyways, so this is what I have set up. We're not even going to go into how I first did everything when I first set everything up because that I put on the Zim form. So if you want to read that, I'm going to throw that link in the description. You dig? But this is my right stick setup. I opted for a, a really small dead zone in a dead zone because I like the sensitivity. Um, I didn't go with it all the way minimum because it's a little too sensitive to or my, my right thumb on the thumbstick is like slanted. So I move weird. This was like a super important setting for me. But when I'm really flicking and stuff, that's really what I went off of was that orientation. When I'm flicking and stuff, that's that's what it's typically doing with when I'm in game. It generally average when I'm doing that. And mind you, I sat here and did this for about <laughs> three to four minutes, yo, just seeing like, OK, if I'm gaming. Where is this going to keep on going? And it averaged around there. I don't have the game loaded up, so of course you're not going to see it correctly, but that's how I averaged it out. Um, negative four orientation for me. Going over to the left stick. The left stick, again, the outer dead zone, as you see, is it hits the max faster. My inner dead zone is smaller. I want to... I don't know how, but I kind of want to experience like a keyboard type movement with the thumbstick, of course, while having the analog comfortability and freeness. But yeah, my orientation is just straight up with this one. I really don't do too much with my left stick. I want it to match in game as much as possible so I can be slick sliding and I'll let you dig stuff. My right trigger, I ain't too much mess with that at all. <laughs> Same with left trigger. Now my motion sensing, it just, one day I was just messing with this stuff, yo, and I just noticed that it made my motion a little more sensitive, 0 0.02, that was perfect for me, it's like I can, I really feel like I'm moving it across the screen, I'm gonna actually show some examples of me just moving and stuff like the way it feels good for me. So, yeah. So my Y axis, of course, is going to be 0 0.2. I actually went down to 0 0.1 with this. Again, I didn't like the sensitivity. I didn't even try 0 with this one. Um, I also went up to the uh, 0 0.03. That was pretty okay. But like I said, 0 0.2 sits great with me. If I'm looking at the Z axis, I guess that kind of just ties the X and Y together. I don't know. I don't understand. I'm not a brainiac. I'm just making it aware. I have tried playing without dynamic offset calibration. I didn't really notice a difference, but honestly, <laughs> it came out the box ticked. I feel like I should leave it there. Just saying. All right, going into my motion alignment. I played around with this a lot. I've had it on 90%. I've had it on 95%. I have it on zebra. I've had it on 0%. I've had it on 2%. Um, just off the top of my head, I know that those are some specific percents I tested just to get a good feel of it. 100% is what I'm sticking to. What I noticed is that when I do have it on 0% or any other percent, like when I'm moving, if I turn the controller 90 degrees, it doesn't do what I would expect it to do, which is to move 
horizontally across the screen. It does some old weird stuff and I don't like it. So 100% <laughs> tilt align for me. Align Y scale in the tilt because why not? It it's it's worked for me. <laughs> Honestly, it's worked for me. I think I had a it was a point where I did turn it off, but I wasn't feeling it, so yeah. So going into my destiny settings, I've been playing Destiny Heavy. You see my little character over. Low key it's a she, but she looked like a dude, whatever. I'm a whatever. <laughs> Engage toggle is on. I do play with my motion always on. It's it's great. I had people ask me, can I go and play the same with a regular controller? If you look. Yeah. I was doing this with a regular controller. You did. In Destiny, this is my uh, motion hip. I play with this a lot. I've learned to just leave it alone. This gives me the ability to just draw on the screen if i want to in that little set area um my prez is set to this uh since i'm a precision player i guess uh i snipe and shit so <laughs> yeah my response i feel like the response again does what it says it's the response y'all know what it does um if i compare it to precision precision is gonna make your reticle heavy it's gonna Again, add that precision. It's going to be as if, imagine drawing a pen on paper. If you put weight on that pen, then you can equate that basically to precision. Um, if you're going to scribble, lightly scribble across the paper, you can equate that to the response. That's how I understood them. That's what helped me understand it better. I did a lot of testing with these in Call of Duty and um, translated it over to Destiny. Uh, Destiny had a different feel. A completely different feel, which made me go back into my Call of Duty settings and try and match that type of feel. Thumbstick. Oh, let's look at my curve. It's linear. <laughs> yeah. Y scale. I am using an experimental build, so that's why I have tilt for horizontal aim. Uh, I'll link that. Thumbstick sensitivity, X and Y, 95 and 70. I feel like having a lower Y axis helps tremendously especially when you're using custom stick behavior well i did not like this at first if, if you're on pc it was a program that make your controller more responsive um if you have a zim nexus this literally does what that program does but better because you can literally customize your stick sensitivity to whatever comfortability level you want and you do it on your phone like <laughs> legit that's so dope to me and i'm lazy so yeah but this is the curve that I have now. Um, I got this from uh, Zim Central. Odin, off the Zim forums. Y'all know him. Um, subscribe to him. Link in the channel. You did. He, um, him and Lythe, they both helped me with this curve. Well, really, I took it and made it into my own. So on my phone, like, I zoom in. Oh, sh I can do it with a scroll bar. You dig. The x-axis is 0 0.090. Um, this gives the amount of slowdown that I want, but not too much to where it feels like I'm moving a stick in the mud, especially because I use aim assist. Um, it's awesome without it. It's very, very precise, but I do use aim assist just because why the fuck not? It's all the way to the bottom, of course, because from what Life had told me, um, having it at the bottom, even if it's just a little bit of acceleration on the y-axis, everything acts weird and it, it's flippy. It's stupid. It's not stupid. It's really, really sensitive. Some people might like it. I don't. I personally don't. I like it. I then play with it and I have it dialed in. So boom. But yes, that is my um, stick for my stick sensitivity for help. Over to motion. At first, I did have shared aim settings. I prefer it's something with the aim down sight, but I prefer it to be higher or I prefer it to somewhat match my hip just because it's just something that I'm used to. I, when I was use a regular controller, I played a lot with the um, ADS um, sensitivity and it just feels so delayed. If I use anything over 1.1, 1 
it. I fluctuated it a lot trying to find the sensitivity for sniping. Um, some of those clips that you see, man, I hit with uh, 8 sensitivity, dog. Uh, some I didn't hit with 11 sensitivity. I've used max sensitivity. It's just like I can play at a decent level, but it doesn't feel like I'm doing it. Like It just feels like it's some type of delay, and it's just like with this controller, I can just oh my but anyways on to the sentence aim down sight 54 i think i have it pretty much the same again i like my motion for ads a little faster uh, to my settings for the um smoothing are the same i prefer it the same that way i don't get like a weird joke or something like that i don't i want everything to be flush um my motion curve again that's regular Thumbstick sensitivity, custom behavior, same thing. Going back into it, um, I I use the zero point zero ninety. Um, yeah, I, it just feels great for me, especially with the sentence that I showed you earlier with my right stick. It feels absolutely amazing for me. Um, it's gonna be different for everybody that's okay legit that is okay um i was so hesitant about posting settings just because if you already have some settings dog i urge you stick to your shit man don't change your settings any tip from any high kd player is don't change your sensitivity i have a bad habit of that i feel like one day um yeah I'm on point and then I come in and I have a bag and it's like, oh, it's my sentence. No, it's not my sentence, dude. You just have an off game again. There's some demons out there. Like, have you seen these PC players? But yes, dude, keep keep your sensitivity. I, these is just what I use. And if you notice, a lot of the settings from uh, the alpha testers, beta testers, whoever you may, um, are pretty much the same as far as the customization. But um, yes, I just see people on the forums and a lot of people do um, come around to having the same general settings. So this can be a great ballpark for y'all um, if y'all struggling with trying to get a good feel. Yeah, pretty much use this as a ballpark. If you have some settings that you feel like, great, don't don't change them. Do not change them. Honestly, don't change them. If you feel like you can't change them, you can tweak it for the better. Do it. It's probably going to inevitably have you do it. Inevitably have you do it, but whatever. <laughs> I urge you don't change them shits throughout all my games. I try and just match the sensitivities. I keep the same curves, same prez, and all of that stuff. Uh, my ADS delay for Destiny is 55. Um, I equate that to the Adore sniper rifle. I like it. I love it. Um, I haven't sniped much. Really, I'm trying to learn Destiny before I pump out some stuff. Destiny's an awesome game. <sighs> it's something that is definitely going to take the place of Call of Duty. Plus, they got some DLC. So, who trying to run a fire team or some stuff? Plus, I want like a little clanny clan or some stuff. I'm, I'm in some little clan. It's crap. I don't want to be in it. So, yeah. That's my little get eggs. Activation 55 for Destiny for um, Call of Duty. Uh, Cold War specifically, I use the Swiss <laughs> ADS delays 520. Um, this is my mappings. Um, if you look at Zim Central's channel, he has a great tutorial of hair triggers and stuff. I looked at that that video a few times, and understanding it, that is on one percent. So if we go into the settings my threshold one percent my action is all the way up and i'm shooting as soon as i touch that trigger hair trigger baby you did now um central did um release another video <laughs> hey central's been pumping out video central has been pumping out videos oh my gosh like oh show the channel love like um for my left trigger i just feel like it's better that it eases in at 20 percent um and i matched it with my ADS delay. I just went into the game. I aimed down sight. I saw that when I aimed down sight, pressing that specific amount, and it amounted to 20%. Um, I put that over in the threshold. So now, at the immediate press of that button, it's gonna go to 20% of. It's it's gonna emulate 20% pressed when I tap the trigger at 100%. If I'm making sense. Um, I don't adjust anything else. I did change my 
A, B, X, and Y back button settings. Where are they at? Down at the bottom. Yeah. This is A, B, X, Y. Um, it's kind of how I, when I was playing with my little Power A controller, that little turn, that little $80 tournament edition controller, that's how I had it wired. So going over to Nexus, it was just a shoe in. Um, I urge you, also something that I've experimented with, dog, utilize these back buttons. And this, But it's so intuitive now to just reach my middle finger and just touch those buttons. I love this, y'all. Like, oh um, my God. Like, I think that's when I hit my best motion shots, dude. It's just like, because I have my fingers and I want to, if I'm picking up a player in Destiny playing Elimination or something like that, I'm moving back. I'm reviving them. I still got my hand on the, or I got my finger on the thumbstick, but I'm also using motion, dog. And it all happens so fast. Like, oh my God, it's so lit. Utilize those back buttons. I don't like quick pull triggers. Um, I have used them. It, if you red gun, you'll love it. Honestly, um, having right trigger specifically, you're gonna love it because if you're using one of those, for example, I always think about the FAL from Black Ops Two. If you're using that, oh my God, it's ridiculous because you don't have to continuously click your trigger. You could just basically rub the trigger or just like press it and it's gonna keep on popping pow 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 it's amazing <laughs> um i do use it with the i use it with the barrett um 50 cal on cold war the m82 whatever um it's all right but i prefer it off because i just want to feel that trigger pull like it helps me time with my sniper rifles better and my timing is everything if you're gonna hit those shots so I'm not going to save no changes because I don't know what I done changed and I'm going to be tight if I mess something up. Um, going over to Call of Duty, like I said, I'm not even going to load up Call of Duty because everything is literally the same. And you see me over making a controller dance. Eh, 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 eh. Those are my settings, though, y'all. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on the Zoom forums. Feel free to reach out to me on the YouTube videos and the comments. I try and help y'all the best that I can with what I know. Uh, but like I said, I am no genius to it. I am a gamer, you dig? So thank y'all for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe on this smug. But get, just give me the 1K, bro. We so close. And I'm out of here.